Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going over the bond system present within cassette beasts, why it's important and how it functions. We'll also be going into how you can level up your bonds as well. So make sure to sit back, relax and let's dive in. Okay, so this is going to be a smaller guide just because the system is pretty straightforward. However, the importance of it needs to be emphasized. In Cassette Beast, there are various characters within the game that can be bonded with and utilized as companions during your traversal through the world of New World. Since the game uses double battles as its format, the characters you bond with will act as your second slot and come with them their own unique monsters. These bonds in and of themselves have various effects on fusion, which is an integral part of the game and hence why you're going to want to pay attention to these. The first time you're introduced to it is very early on with Kaylee, who will sort of act as your guide through the first tutorial segment of the game. Much like her, the other characters that you'll meet throughout the world will start with zero of five hearts and will typically require you to complete their initial quests in order to get that first heart initiated. From what I could tell with my playthrough, the bond progression itself is sort of locked until you complete each of the character's quests. For example, Kaylee has to have one heart just because of that initial fusion you have with her in the tutorial, but it seems like her second heart is locked locked until you do her specific quest which involves the Morningtown cult. After you've gotten these two initial hearts for Kaylee and what seems to be one heart for the other characters, the bonds will level up simply by battling together, completing various main quests together, etc. I don't have access to the code obviously, but I do think fusing together increases this as well. When you first unlock the first heart with any given character, that'll give you access to the use of fusion in battle, which is typically the aftermath of a situation where you and that character must fuse together in order to overcome some sort of archangel or boss. As you level up the hearts further, you'll get access to fusion power, which is the strongest move in the game that allows for massive damage whilst your AP is maxed, sort of like how the archangels have their own mega attacks when they go full power, and that'll give you access at two hearts, and the power of your fusion will just increase from there. It's honestly all pretty straightforward. Typically what'll happen is you'll go rest somewhere after you've leveled up your bond enough, which does seem to be sort of a hidden value when it comes to in between the hearts. And once that value is sort of met at the campfire or at a cafe, the character will talk to you and they'll sort of have like some type of heart to heart discussion, which will then level up that bond. When you get your various bonds to the max, you do have the optional dating mechanic where you can pretty much explore a relationship with the given character of your choice. However, this will not have any gameplay advantage or disadvantages. It's more so just a social sim type thing that you may or may not be interested in. But yeah, that's pretty much it for bonds and how they work. Basically, you're going to want to bond as much as you can with every character so that you get the max potential out of your fusions. Do stay tuned because I do want to put out a video showcasing all of the locations of the companion characters. Obviously, if you watch my Let's Plays, you'll be able to find them, but I think a condensed video that'll show you them one by one will be really helpful. But yeah, let me know if you guys are enjoying Cassette Beast so far and who your favorite companion character is. If you want to stay up to date on this game or just the monster taming genre in general, definitely make sure to like and subscribe for daily monster taming videos. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogo, Dark Persona Exodus, and Candy Morency, and we'll see you next time. Peace.